Uh, well, I guess we we'll have to record this again because there was double looping audio in the last recording. This idiot right here! Hooray! God damn it. <laughs> anyway, Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Technically, the Garden Warfare 3? But not really. Uh, so comparatively to Plants vs. Zombies 2, I was just basically- I was talking about this yesterday. But basically, it's not that bad of a Garden Warfare Plants vs. Zombies game. It's just a little different. I do like this menu though. I just like the simple Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. I like the blue. I think blue's my new favorite color. It was green, but I just have a lot more blue clothing than green. Okay, one of the ugliest looking characters is right on the screen. It is the Rose. Um, so this is the uh, Founding Fathers, the Founding Neighborville edition. It's cheap right now, like 24 bucks, but I got it half off. Um, when Later on, when, this, when the full game actually releases in October, it's going to be full price, like 50 or 60 bucks. Um, but this is one of the ugliest looking characters. I think the Rose actually looked a lot more beautiful in the last game. What is on his face? But yeah, you're actually in a lobby with other people now. Uh, so promotions, that's how you uh, upgrade or re-up. Just like that. That's how you re-up your characters. On the left side of the screen, it said who re-upped. XP trainer, you can buy XP and put it to your character so you can, you know, level up faster. Uh, you can customize your victory slab, which is the thing that pops up after uh, you defeat someone, you vanquish someone in the multiplayer. Uh, I, I don't know what town center is exactly, or what Mount Steep is. The changing booth, you can change your characters, customize them, whatever. Uh, the team switch is that little tent right behind the, the flower, that's how you change your teams. Um, this is like the, uh, the center park, Giddy Park, on the opposite side there's a Zomboss, uh, the zombie base. Uh, world options, you can either choose to be alone, in a server with AI, or if you want to be in a server with other people. So these are the world options. There's no more um, difficulty, which is good, because I didn't see a point for anyone playing on a harder difficulty than easy. So you can play online with other people, you can play uh, privately uh, without AI, or you can play privately with the AI. But I, my preference is to be with other people, because people have some funky looking skins, and I want to see them. There's the multiplayer portal. It doesn't look as nice as the last one. And the uh, Garden Warfare 2. Rux's Emporium. The Rewardotron 9000. This is replacing the sticker system. Instead of getting 5 stickers per 30,000 coins you spend. You're only getting 1 sticker or 1 capsule per 30,000 coins that you spend. And you still make the same amount of coins you did in the last game per multiplayer. Like 13,000. If you win and you're doing really good. Um, so, I don't know, compared, you, you get a lot less for spending the same amount of coins. This is where you promote your characters, um, this is where you can find an emo corn. For some reason, he's just, he's just in his dark little corner over here. You can play the piano. Fantastic music, but these are the new care uh, the new character design so the art style changed very differently from the last game I feel like this is more of a I feel like this is what Garden Warfare 1 should have looked like Because Garden Warfare 2 still looks a little bit better than this the P uh, Sorry the default P shooter. I think it looks fine. I actually really like the design the default chomper I don't mind it. It looks all right looks it looks fine to me the corn, he looks super young. He looks like super, like, Play-Doh, plastic. I don't know. I, I, get, I know it's kid-friendly, but it doesn't look like corn. The leaves look fine. It's just the corn himself. It, i never seen corn so shiny. <laughs> the ninja looks dope. I don't know what this one, a uh, nightcap. Uh, but I think the ninja looks really cool. It's a very useful character, very nice powers that they have. Um, the Snapdragon, the the default, I think it looks fine. It, it looks exactly like it did as a plant that you pot in the soil in the Garden Warfare 2. But it doesn't look bad. So basically, the Snapdragon and the Chomper are the same character. Um, in Garden Warfare 2, you actually had the Chomper that can spray toxic, can shoot ice balls, can spit fire, or it can chomp on people. This chomper only chomps on people. It cannot spit fire. That's where this character comes in. 
This character can spit fire. I don't believe there's any ice variations or toxic variations anymore. Uh, because I haven't seen it. Uh, the cactus looks really weird compared to the last game. The onion, flying onion, it looks fine. I mean, it's just a flying onion. I didn't, they didn't really change much with that one. It still looks goofy and chunky. Uh, but the cactus is really slender and a lot taller instead of, like, chunkier. Uh, which, I mean, I guess it makes sense with actual cactuses in real life, but it looks so weird in the game. Uh, Citron has a really different design. It looks so fake. It looks very different from the other characters. I don't know if it's the orange color or the fact that his face is, like, huge, but it looks very ugly in the preview. All these characters look a lot uglier in the preview, but when you go into the game, they don't look that bad. Like, you can, like, I'm a full orange now. This is the actual running animation. And it looks fine. And then when you stop running, you automatically ball out. But you look a lot better as the orange um, when you're actually playing as the orange. But when you're in the customization menus looking at him, he just looks so ugly. He looks fake. It's not the dimples that he has. It's just the colors. I feel like it's too orange. And his face? I don't know. He looks... They all look super young. Oh, this is the new character, the Acorn. So instead of having Torchwood and, uh, I was going to say Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> instead of having Torchwood and Garden Warfare 2, uh, he's not Torchwood anymore. He, this is the actual Acorn, but the wooden, the wooden tree that you are that used to be Torchwood is actually your mech suit. So this is technically a mech, a mechanized character. Um, it does have different abilities than the than, than Torchwood. It's got a, a much more uglier looking face. I think it looks disgusting. I don't think it looks cool. It looks very ugly. But this is supposed to um, counter out the the imp and the fact that it has a mech suit. And then the sunflower, it looked a lot better in the last game. It looks a little weird. Just a little bit. I feel like everything looks like it's made out of Play-Doh or plastic. And I would rather prefer the icons be on the left side of the screen where you just scroll down rather than the bottom middle. Because I want to see the customizations too on the characters without it being so distracting on uh, support, defense characters, and attack characters. But the Rose is by far the ugliest character. I, th I think it's the ugliest character. I don't know if it's the hands or the face, but just in the main menu right here, it just does not look pretty as she did in the last game. She looks a, a lot uglier to me. But those are the new character designs. I really like the pea shooter. The new pea shooter design, I think it looks very adorable. Like if this was a plushie, I would love to hug it. I would love to absolutely hug it. The running animation is a little silly for this character. And then we got the multiplayer portal, which uh, turf, turf Takeover is the only thing that we're able to play for this week. This is the first week of the Founders edition of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Um, but the portal in the last game, I think it looked better in the last game. In this game, it kind of just looks like a flushing toilet. If you look at the portal in the last game, I think it looked a lot better. I don't know. It's not just the purple color, but I feel like the animation's different. But it's still a really good game nonetheless. It's nice to play. It's very fun. I just think it's not as good as Garden Warfare 2. But there's only one game mode. It really, the Turf, War take, uh, the Turf Takeover is the only game mode I ever really play anyway in Garden Warfare 2, but design-wise, it's so vivid and beautiful, the clouds are amazing, the sunlight, the character models, it all looks good, it just looks very, I don't know, I feel like they changed a lot of things that didn't really need to change. Also, I have no idea what we're doing, we're defending the broadcast vans? Also, you can hover with the, uh, the rows, and then... When you use the left bumper that does more damage, or you're able to do more damage to whoever you hit. Uh, these little barriers... Um, the little barriers actually spawn like a bubble shield, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the Enigma no longer does damage to the enemies. You are still invincible, but it mainly gives a power boost to your teammates when you're near your teammates. So it doesn't, uh, it doesn't hurt the enemies at all in any way. Which is a little different from the last game. That was already the end of the game. That was fast. <laughs> this is the new. This is the new map. The I've only the N or the Z flipped backwards or sideways, but it looked different. 
Like it was inside of another N. Oh my god. No! Ugh. It's grunge. <laughs> That's actually pretty creepy, dude. Alright, so they won. That one was a different turf takeover. I like... Th That's new, though. The animation with the skulls falling in the background. That's new. I think that looks kind of nice. If only the recording the first time I did this wasn't double-looped audio. I'm so mad it is. I'm really upset that it's double-looped audio. But yeah, and then we have this this character. I, I've never played as her or really seen her, so I don't know what she does. But she looks fun. She's having a time of her life. She shoots... Oh, she shoots lasers out of the little gun that's following her. Oh, so it's basically uh, one of the Overwatch characters. Oh, it's my twin sister! Hey! Uh, this is my transformation thing. I don't know what this does. Oh, no, I know what this does. Um, You can team up with other people. So, like, she... Okay, so, like, she joined my little rocket thing. So now we're more powerful. So now there's two people in here. Uh, it's me and the other dude. I don't know. I don't know what it really does exactly, but it's kind of cool. Uh, but if we die, if I die, she dies. We die together. It's not just um. This this is like it's like, like a one piece mechanized suit. This is a really overpowering character. Damn. I don't know how I'm not dead yet. Oh my god. Get the ninja. Get the Naruto. Get the Naruto anime character. Ooh, yeah. So when I died, we both died because we're on the same uh, mechanical um, object. They still have it on the Frostbite engine, just like the last game. Um, rest in peace, PopCap. But I don't know. It's just a little... Uh... Oh, we can link together. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. I am now one with these. So there's three gals on here now. So there's me and two other people. There's three women. We're basically an unstoppable force. So I don't control the vehicle now. So, uh, whoever started the vehicle controls it. Oh, I also have a bubble shield. Oh! Oh, the bubble shield goes in my direction. So we can literally just protect and defend. Oh, that's really cool. Ooh. We're like an overpowered super being. Kill it! Kill it! Kill the, kill the plant! Kill the plant! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! There we go. <laughs> nice. My shield is almost broken. This is kind of cool. So you, I'm, I'm with three other zombies right now, or two other zombies. Sorry, we're a total of three. That's pretty damn cool. So we can all team up and absolutely destroy the other team. I wonder if you can do this uh, with that Torchwood character with the acorns on the plants team. Oh, and we all died. Damn. Yeah, so they got us all. When one of us dies, we all die because we're on the same boat. I don't know if I can detach myself. Oh, yeah. Uh, instead of placing down the barriers, uh, they actually, like I said earlier, it enables a bubble shield. I don't know if you can shoot out of it, though. You can. Can you shoot into it? You can. Okay, so only the zombies are affected by this. Okay, and you can only put one at a time for a certain amount of time. The left bumper is the imp punt, which is, you know, it's actually pretty good to use. Oh, the ninja. Oh yeah, these floating air horns are from the engineer. Instead of throwing the air horn gun and it stunning the other team, um, they actually float in place until someone runs into it. So they're kind of like seeking mines. Yeah, I don't like these objectives, the, the animations on the top middle. Like, the art design for Dr. Zambas and Dave, like, it looks so good. And then they have this ugly, simplistic-ass-looking, just green and purple bar. Yeah, so it's, it's a pretty, it's pretty nice. And also, when you die, you can look around. You don't have to just straight up look in the ground. You can actually, you can look to the sky if you want to. You can look around and help your teammates. So that's a nice improvement that they didn't have in Garden Warfare 2. Hey, it's my sister from another mister. Wee! She's having the time of her life. The time of my life. What smells? Wow, that insult to injury, though. Ah, damn it. The stupid ninja got me. Again. Damn it. Yeah, there's the engineer. So anyone in that purple ring that also heals me gets that purple beam that um, attaches to my body. So they heal me quicker. Oh, whoa. What is this? I don't know what the left bumper did, but it was killed. 
Ugh. And I died. I didn't mean to press the Y button. I forgot what it was. Yeah, like if I'm resurrecting the doctor, I have a purple beam. Anyone that stands in a circle, she's also going to heal quickly. So yeah, and then when you revive, you're like a rainbow for some reason. I think it looks kind of cool. Like Super Mario Invincibility. I think the ninja's really cool. I like the ninja. He's a pretty cool character. I like this chick, though. I, I, I think she's a pretty looking zombie. I'd smash. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, yeah. These batteries you gotta protect. So, they're powered by eels. These batteries are what they, uh, what the plants need to win. Um, but we need the batteries as zombies to launch the, uh, the lighthouse into space for some reason. I don't know. Plot. Reasonings. Yeah, I don't like the objective zone, the top middle. The batteries, they're fine. Like, they're nicely detailed icons. Like, that looks fine. But earlier, when it was just white and purple loading bar, or white and, or, sorry, <laughs> Purple and green loading bars. It's just so plain and boring and ugly. It doesn't even look like they took the time to design it. It just looks so weird. Oh, let's group up sisters. Yeah. All right, sister fister. <laughs> oh, hey. Quick, disperse, disperse. <laughs> oh, I don't have ammo. Ah, damn it. Even though it doesn't really feel like you're running, I like that it at least looks like you're running because it gives your mind the, oh, thank God I can run in this game finally. No, it's a hypno mushroom. It's a hypno shroom. No, no, it's a hypno. Ow, who's hitting me? Yes, yes, yes. They're going to lose anyway. It's fine. Why does isn't he dead yet? Oh, okay, we win. Woohoo. <laughs> Look at us, sisters! You can still kind of move around. Kind of. We win! We had enough batteries to go to space for some reason! I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know what that accomplishes. <coughs> I like that. I don't like the purple highlight behind it. It used to be like glowing and transparent. But now it's just like a strip of like paint. It just looks like someone grabbed a purple paintbrush and it just and that's it. It looks kind of lame, but it's pretty cool. I did the team best. Look at that. 17,555. All right. But yeah, that's that's pretty much the game. Uh, and like I said, with the sticker packs, uh, buy a capsule 30,000. You only get one capsule, which is only one reward. You don't get three or multiple ironclad furnace. No, it's not that bad, I guess. Yeah, you can also see other people's rewards, too. So he's got danger goggles. Which, I mean, if you wanted a lifetime preview of what other people get, and they're... Oh, that's a cool crown! Wait, I'm jealous! Come back! But yeah, if you want to get jealous easily, you know, there you go. Uh, that's the new sticker shop. But, like, I, st I feel like the art style and the amount of... Just, just the graphics in general for Battle for Neighborville... I feel like it's a Garden Warfare 1, like it's very alpha. It's just the plain looking colors compared to the detail you see in Garden Warfare 2. I feel like it's so... Like, it feels like an older game rather than a newer game. But I don't know, multiplayer wise, it's fun to play. Art style wise, I like the other one better. Um, Like the stickers on the bottom right, you see how they're nicely detailed? I don't know why they couldn't have done that for the objectives with the in the middle of the screen. Like, I feel like that would have been, you know, much nicer. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm totally going to read every single comment. Not really. If you actually made it this far. Why? 